Today we're talking about four different homes that will not break the bank if you're looking to buy a home in Northwest Arkansas. So let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually was a real estate broker located in the hot mess, the train wreck, the dumpster fireplace known as Chicago, known as Illinois. Ugh, the worst. Anyways, I was looking for the best place to live in America and I discovered Northwest Arkansas. And I probably looked at a lot of locations you're currently looking at as well to move to. Northwest Arkansas is by far the best place to live in America, by far. If you ever wanna talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, call me, text me, let me know for coffee, email me, whatever the case is, we can talk about why this place is the best place to live in America, by far, versus anywhere else in America. Also, if you haven't been down to Northwest Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it is. It's literally a starter pack full of all the cool things Northwest Arkansas. It's a full packet of what's going on in downtown Benville, what's going on in Fayetteville, what are the hospitals like, what are the schools like, all the things you need to know about Northwest Arkansas. Boop, 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 boop. A package, literally ship right to your home, right to your home. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite four letter F word. Free! So enter information below and make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. All right, so the first home we need to talk about and actually more of a builder is Schubert Mitchell out in Pea Ridge. Now Schubert Mitchell has a lot of other homes develop, being developed in the area, but I really like the Pea Ridge ones because they kind of range from the 260 range all the way up to 320 range. Now Pea Ridge is a very affordable area when it comes to homes in the area. It's up and coming. Is it the prettiest area? Not necessarily, And but there's a lot of flat land, a lot of new developments happening there. But the big perk of Pea Ridge is the brand new school system there. It's up and coming, so there's a lot of new businesses moving to the area there. But honestly, the biggest factor is that direct connection to Bentonville. So you're about 10 minutes away tops, maybe 15, depends on where you end up, in from Pea Ridge to Bentonville. So you can get right from Pea Ridge to Bentonville, downtown Bentonville, all the biking trails, et cetera. It's probably the closest place you can buy and the cheapest place you can buy in Northwest Arkansas being so close to Bentonville. But again, there's a new subdivision being developed amongst others, uh, Schubert Mitchell in Pea Ridge, that are around the 260, excuse me, to 320. Now, don't get your super jazzed up around the 260 price range. Builders don't oftentimes, they advertise that, let's just be honest, they advertise that as like starting at the 260s. But realistically, once you start talking to a new construction builder, definitely call me if you want me to help you with that process. But once you start actually communicating with a builder, what they're gonna say is based on this lot, the, the homes we allow there are gonna start at 300,000. And they're gonna tell you that oftentimes they only allow like the 280s and 260s to be done a couple times in the actual subdivision itself. And they usually dedicate those to first responders or teachers of that nature. So kind of keep that in mind. It's kind of a little bit of a marketing, marketing tactic I'm not a biggest fan of, but it definitely gets people talking about the whole area and talking about the different subdivisions itself. But just keep that in mind. Don't get too excited about the 260 and be more realistic around the 300 range. And the second home you definitely need to be aware of that won't break the bank in Northwest Arkansas is a uh, actual subdivision in Lowell, 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 Arkansas. And that's really kind of wedged between Springdale and Rogers, but Lowell, Arkansas and a actual builder called Riverwood Homes. I'm a bigger fan of Riverwood Homes because they're a local builder and they do, and like the actual CEO lives in Northwest Arkansas. The other, other ones, not as much, but River, River Homes is a larger builder in the area, but they're building homes anywhere from like the 280, 290, all the way up to 320 range. It's kind of like the lower base price in Lowell, in uh, Lowell, Arkansas. Now, the reason I like this subdivision is two factors. The first factor is it's very affordable and it won't break, break the bank. And the home sizes are, I would consider very decent anywhere from 1500 to even 17 if you need to push it that high. But the other far part of all this is that it's so close to 49. Now, if you're looking to move to the area and you have a job upcoming very soon, you wanna get new construction, or this is kind of your price range, that kind of, that access to 49 is really key because you're gonna go from Lowell to 49 back to wherever your job is. 49 is the major hub here in the area. So having that close access makes a big difference. The other key factor I truly love about this is that north of you is downtown Rogers, south of you is downtown Springdale. And downtown Springdale is up and coming. There's so many things happening there that you're gonna truly love. And so having that access is so fun right there. A little bit of a side note is that there's Mount Fitzgerald in downtown uh, Springdale, which is kind of gives you access to about 15 miles of trail systems. It's kind of like the unknown secret gem of Northwest Arkansas. People don't talk about Mount Fitzgerald very much because it's on the far end of Springdale, but it's really close to you and you might have your own little private little um, trailhead paradise over there in Lowell. Hey, whoa, wait. I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking to move to the area and using things like realtor.com, zillow.com or Redfin, way too slow, notifications, 
way too slow. That's why I made, made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is. It's called Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage. Where do you want to move to in Northwest Arkansas? Let me know with all the information below. I'll make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent, all in Northwest Arkansas. Also, side note, every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things in Northwest Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What's going on in the amphitheater? What's going on in downtown Rogers? What's going on with the farmer's market? What new bands are coming here? What new visitors are here? So many things all the time. All the time, it's really hard to keep on top of what's going on here. Anyways, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things every single Friday, but something to be aware of, something to caution. You will get a little fear of missing out, a little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you, you will be the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to Northwest Arkansas. And the third home style you definitely need to be aware of that won't break the bank in, in Northwest Arkansas is actually Park Meadows in South Fayetteville. This is actually being developed by Raj Coleman. And actually the price ranges go all the way down to 235, like a real 235, all the way up to like maybe 300. Now, the interesting thing about these homes specifically is that they're only like around some, sometimes three bedrooms, but usually they're two bedrooms, around 1200 square feet, maybe 13, 1400 square feet. This is like the perfect home style for an investment property a lot of times or a very like newly married couple kind of want to move into their first home kind of style. They're not very big. There's garages, of course. There's the whole standard home living, kitchens, of course, but they're not really massive. And, and, and that's the interesting part of Northwest Arkansas is they're trying to reduce the size of homes because not everyone moving here always has three kids or two kids or even kids in general. They just got a job, maybe they just got a college and they want to make their first investment. And usually home ownership is obviously a great investment um, for the course of history. And, and having these kind of home styles makes it a lot easier and more affordable to buy versus something in the 350s or 400s. So Park Meadows down in South Fayetteville, I've shown these homes a lot and they, they do really well. They are definitely more, um, I would consider like lower end in the, in the case of like finishings, but they're en great entry points for home ownership in general. And the fourth and final home style you definitely need to be aware of when it comes for homes that won't break the bank in Northwest Arkansas. And this is actually a new one I want to add to the list. DR Horton, which is probably the big, is, is the biggest home builder in America has stepped into Northwest Arkansas and they're starting to build some really great homes in uh, Fayetteville. Now they are building on the outskirts of Northwest Arkansas, Gentry, uh, Salem Springs, and the, the homes are more affordable out there, but you are talking about a decent drive from those places to North, I would consider Northwest Arkansas in general, usually 30 minutes to 20 minutes or north uh, of, of time frame. But regardless, they're building some homes in uh, Fayetteville, on the west side of Fayetteville, all the way from 320 up to maybe 375. Now this is probably on the higher end. The reason I wanna put these on the map is because of some of their crazy interest rates they have available in DR Horton sphere. So keep that in mind. If interest rates are kind of a big deal for you when it comes to home ownership, they definitely have huge incentives. And DR Horton has some bad, I would say reviews other parts of America, but I i don't really blame Dior or Horton. I blame more of the, the subs that they're being used in other parts of America. The subs and contractors and the people who are doing the work in Northwest Arkansas, I've seen great work across the board. I've seen a lot of DR Horton homes and they always come out very, very good. That could change in the future and I'll let you know if that's the case. But regardless, at the moment, DR Horton homes are having great interest rates. They have great quality and these are gonna be suited for, I would consider, larger families that want new construction that don't need a large yard, but want access to really good amenities up to the cities like, like Fayetteville and other parts of Northwest Arkansas. So keep that in mind. This is kind of that middle ground of homes uh, for home purchasing and home um, value and home amount in the area. So keep that in mind, but they are really on the map for some good quality homes for a good price, honestly. <laughs> All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my 3D itineraries, link below. Maybe you're a venturer, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and use it to get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you a $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right guys, I'll see you next one.